Nick Natanui, congratulations. It's a premiership for your club, but not quite in the way for you that you would have dreamt of. Um, yeah, it's awesome for the boys. Um, I think Simo last week said I'm the, the highest paid ruck coach and a bit overpaid. So um, if we can get him a couple more of these, then um, you know, they can keep saying that. But um, I'm happy for the boys, guys like Mark McCraw, Josh Kennedy, um, some of my really close mates. Um, to see them play for so long and get one of these, it um, means a lot. You wouldn't be human, though, if there wasn't some hurt. I mean, clearly you want to play. Um, it, do you feel that now, or does it feel sort of more like a numb sensation that you've tried to almost push down? Um, no, I've had it there for a while. Um, obviously, not playing any games big, but this one probably hurts a little bit more. But for me, um, to see the emotion and the and the happiness on some of those guys' faces, it, it takes away, takes away all of that. But um, yeah, I put it into perspective with anything in life. Ever has, ever always have. So. Um, hopefully the boys don't drink too much and now uh, we can go back to back. Yeah, I reckon you can. Nick, tell us, I mean, you're joking about being a ruck coach, but it's been one of the aces in the entire team and, and it's led them to this premiership in large part. What was it like today? What were some of the thrills and skills that went on behind the scenes that you can tell us about now? Um, yeah, it's been a big month. We put a lot of work into some of the best ruckmen in the game um, over this past four or five weeks. So. Um, the boys go out there and executed their role, and uh, I think they did the same again today with Grundy. Obviously, he got his hand to it a bit, but they just did what they did to try and, I guess, stop his, his influence because it went a long way. But uh, I'm very proud of Nathan Vardy and Scott Lysett because um, they just, they're, they're good listeners. They just listen to what they're told. Um, it's hard listening to a peer, uh, especially someone like me. I just I take, the, take it out of them a little bit at training. So for them to respect me enough to take some of my advice, um, yeah, it goes a long way. Nathan Vardy's story in particular is, is quite amazing. What is the one thing that you really impressed on him and wanted to teach him so that he could actually pull this off today like he has? Vard is um, he's an interesting one. He's a, he's a real lovable guy at the club. He's only played a handful of games because um, he's been injured so much and he's had experience at Geelong. But coming to us, he's not one to sook when he's not playing. He plays a role similar to Mark Hutchings. Um, they're not the superstars or the, the most well-known guys in our team, but they're the guys that are the heart and that do everything. So, like I said, he's very coachable. Um, yeah, he just wants to do whatever he can to help the team, and um, Vaz did that again tonight. Has having a role like you've had, being a rat coach, has it helped you remain sort of uh, in yeah. touch and feeling like you really were part um, of it? Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm kind of used to being a bit of a leper on the outside, being injured so much. So, um, it's nothing that's foreign to me. But, yeah, having a role on the bench and being actively stimulated uh, I guess throughout the whole game I um yeah I feel like I'm a part of it uh, it's probably harder for guys like Andrew Gaff and Eric McKenzie and Brad Shepard up in the stands because they are watching it probably with a drink in their hand from from afar but to be actually amongst it and, and feeling the, the highs and lows as it goes on um at ground level um yeah I felt it was beneficial for me yeah I'll obviously be sad at some point um seeing the replays of the guys carrying on um over the next few weeks or so but it is what it is who at the club has comforted you or, or helped you sound as strong as you, you do sound? Um, everyone has, but the boys have been funny. We've got a weird relationship. Um, I probably can say it on air now, but um, you know, Jack Redden yesterday was like, that's all right, mate, you can take a photo for your Instagram with my medal tomorrow night. Um, Luke Shuey said I can wear one of his medals when he wins on Norm Smith and he ends up winning it. So, um, but I don't know, I don't look for pity or sympathy. I just like to make sure the boys are happy and, and they do the same as well. I show a lot of respect. So. I think Mark Lacroix has been the biggest one for me. Um, he obviously feels what I feel, and, and guys like Mark Nikoski in particular, he's, he's been there when the guys have won it as well. So um, the boys as a collective, they're, they're very helpful. Great of you to talk to us, Nick, and it is your premiership too, so well done. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Sam.